Mommy Bell. Say Mommy Bell. Big Mommy Bell. Big Mommy Bell. Big Mommy Bell. Big Mommy Bell. Alright, Big Money Bound CBR, C Pasta YouTube. Okay, I'm starting this video off by letting you know if you come in to watch this video for like motivation or something like that, this ain't this ain't the one. This ain't it. If you don't want to get discouraged from becoming a respiratory therapist, this ain't the video for you. I'm telling now, if you're a therapist, you already in the field, you know how it goes. It's good days and it's bad days, it's bad nights and it's good nights. You know how it goes, ups and it's downs. Go ahead and check it out. But if you want to become a therapist, you come here like, dang, I want to hear Randy tell me something, something that's going to motivate me to want to become a therapist. This ain't the video for you. I had a bad night last night. I'm going to tell you what all I had to do and what made it so damn bad. So I'm telling you, I'm giving you a heads up. I'm giving you time to leave. If you don't want to get discouraged from becoming a respiratory therapist, I'm giving you time to leave. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Sorry, good luck, purple frog. Jody favorite color is purple. It's good luck, little frog. Now you had time. Last night, I'm in the ER. Hold on, you know what? Before I left out of there, a lady, a lady just told me, I like your hair. And there's always somebody like, I get the most compliments from people that's, that has like, None coarse hair. None like none black hair basically. Not like the color black, but like a black person. And I say black person because I don't want to divide us up from oh Jamaican, Haitian, Bahamian, American, African American. Hey bro, you're black, I'm calling you black. That's all I'm talking about. I ain't gonna divide us up. But y'all do your thing though. But me personally, I ain't doing that. Now if you wanna divide us, cool. Oh you you black American. Now, if you want to divide us, cool. But I'm saying black. I'm saying that Haitian, Jamaican, African American. I'm saying we all. That's what I'm saying. But next topic. Bro. I ain't gonna get into all that. But so let me. She said. She said my hair was real nice. So let me go ahead and. She got me on my brush and she let me on my brush and pan off. But yeah, I'm in the ER last night. I'm in the damn ER. I purposely set up my schedule where I'm at this job twice a month. I'm doing the bare required minimum of days. Man, we haven't bought that overtime, getting free, all that. Man, I'll be in debt before I go deal with that. I'll be in debt before I go and deal with that. I'm telling you, no lie. I'm not, bro, I'm not joking. I'm being for real. I live in debt before I go in there and deal with that to get free. Fuck it. Put me in debt, man. I ain't. I'm telling you, no lie. I don't change my brother. I'm finna stack this money to the ceiling. All this paying extras. Is, I'm finna stack my fatty, dog. Damn, I'm finna try to get to a quarter. I'm finna try to see a quarter million saying. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Like, I am not finna be. No, I can't go in and deal with that. So, I'm already working like two days. Like, real less. Like, you know, real bare minimum. Man, I go in here in the ER, bro. From when I used to be. At this hospital, heavy work, heavy, 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 heavy. It's been a lot of changes with like the doctor staff, like the doctors that's in the ER. So now it's a lot more. I don't want to sound sexist. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. Cause I ain't saying it's because they male or female. It's a lot more newer, new to the field female doctors. I'm not saying this is why this is going on. They know what's the what's the situation. Every damn patient that come in here, they getting dual nap times three. That was only time we did dual nap times three is you if you was an asthmatic patient having an asthmatic episode. Like you was like bronchiac. This is like your bronchitis was closing up. Like you have an asthma attack. You just coming in for shortness of breath. You get one. You, you you get one treatment. We ain't doing three back. We we weren't doing it. That's just what everybody who coming in here they getting three and they getting ABGs. I mean. I'm not exactly, I mean, like, bro, everybody. I did so many ABGs, I felt like I was a phlebotomist. I'm telling I had to use a needle. Like, I'm a therapist. I got I got my sheet of paper. I got my proof right here. This is how my night went. I'm going to say this again. If you want to become a respiratory therapist, you're watching this video for encouragement to become a respiratory therapist, log off right now because I'm going to tell you what I had to do now. 
Started off with a BiPAP. Asthmatic patient. Cool. Do my, do my little vet check. That's cool. I was called for an ABG. Did that ABG. Another ABG. Had to go do that ABG. I was called for another ABG. Had to put that patient on continuous BiPAP. Then I had to do a follow-up ABG. I don't did four damn ABGs in the first hour. Stay with me now. Breathing treatment. Breathing treatment. Breathing treatment. Times three now. Breathing treatment. Breathing treatment. Breathing treatment. Okay. ABG. Breathing treatment. Breathing treatment. Breathing treatment. All right. ABG. Continuous BiPAP. Follow up ABG. All right now. Treatment. 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 Okay. Treatment. 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 Okay. ABG. 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 Treatment. Treatment. Treatment, bro. ABG. ABG, dog. And then... I'm not even including, like, the transports I had to do to take the patients up to the floor. And then... A patient is on a machine. I'm not going to say what kind of machine. I'm just going to say they're on a machine. Could have been high flow nasal cannula. Could have been BiPAP. Could have been CPAP. Could have been a vent. I'm just saying they're on a machine. I ain't going to get too precise. They're on a respiratory therapy ventilated machine. I put them on there at 12 o'clock. I go back and I'll go back to do my second check four hours later. The patient and the machine is gone. So I go to the nurse and say, hey, there was a patient in here that was on a respiratory therapy ventilator machine. The patient gone, the machine gone. Oh, yeah, we took him up. They was on the machine. Oh, yeah, we took the machine too. But like I said, it's been a lot of new doctors. It's also a lot of new nurses. Hey, whenever you have a patient on a respiratory on a respiratory machine, the respiratory therapy has to be notified. The respiratory therapist has to be notified, and the therapist got to transport that patient with you to make sure that patient gets into the room, the machine is working properly, and the therapist can give a handoff report to the therapist that's receiving the patient. And it's like, oh yeah, and it's like it's a big deal because the patient was put on this machine in the emergency room. So this was in an emergency situation, which means they had respiratory distress or a blood gas that would show acidotic respiratory respiratory acid. I don't matter what long like that would show respiratory acidosis, which means they're not ventilating properly and they got to blow off a lot of CO two. So when you just say, oh, they up there in the machine up there. I'm down here in the ER. I don't know if the machine on right. I don't know if the machine on wrong. I don't know what's going on. I got to leave the ER, go up to the floor where that patient is at. Because once before, this happened to me. They transported a patient on a BiPAP machine. Hooked the BiPAP machine up to the O2 tank and dropped the patient off. The O2 tank ran out and the patient could have suffocated because they didn't get no oxygen. No, no oxygen. Luckily, when I got there, luckily I did the same thing. I was like, okay, y'all left without me. Let me go to the room and make sure everything is set up right. I saw that it wasn't set up properly, so I was able to catch it. So this stuff can be like real bad if it gets there. So I go up to the room, man. Everything was good. So whoever did it, they knew how to use the machine somewhat, you know. Whatever, cool. It's still a principle. So now I'm like, hey, man. I'm calling my supervisor. Like, hey, man, this is what took place. This is what happened. You need to like let somebody know this. Because like, this got to be like... If it was my family member on a respiratory related, a respiratory breathing machine, and they was being transported without a respiratory therapist, when a respiratory therapist needs to be there, I want somebody to let this be known that, hey, this is done incorrectly. Like, for real, we need to stop this here. So I let my supervisor know. I go holler at the charge nurse. Like, hey, this was going on. Oh, man, they did this. Oh, wow. This
So I'm telling my supervisor, they telling me like, yeah, okay, give me the names, the patient name, the nurse name, and what what the patient went. Nah, I ain't trying to go in there and snitch on nobody and do this and do that. But but this is a healthcare facility. If there's something done wrong, like I don't even do this, bro. But it was like real deal critical ABG, and you don't just take no patient like, bro. This stuff is serious, man. If it wasn't nothing serious, it was just a non rebreather. They put them on. They put them on venti masks. You know. If you need a respiratory therapy related ventilator machine and somebody take you off, yeah, I gotta let somebody know that. Cause anything happen, they gonna say, What was the therapist? They ain't gonna say, Well, who was the nurse that took him off? They're gonna say, Who was the therapist that was in charge of this patient? And I'm gonna say, I ain't know nothing. I thought they was still there. Well, you didn't come by and check. I'm taking care of five, I'm taking care of five hundred more people, more patients back this way. I'm taking care of five hundred more patients. That's right. They kept calling me saying, Oh, we got a stat ABG, stat ABG. Hey, hey, in front of your stat ABG, I got six more stat ABGs. So you got to wait. Okay, I'm going to tell the doctor. All right, go ahead. Shit, go ahead. Go ahead. Perfect. They called me a the doctor. want to see with you. You know me? All right, no problem. Hey, this restaurant, yeah, this restaurant, what's happening? What's going on? What's, what's happening, dog? Bro, I'm on the phone. Yeah, what's happening? What's going on? Oh, I need a gas. Yeah, yeah. Hey, bro, you, you need a gas? They got five people that need gases before you. And they just call respiratory therapy overhead for help. Oh, yeah, I did it. I, I heard that. Do you mind if I draw the gas and you can run it? Hey, cool. That's help me help you. Do you, hey, help me help you, dog, but oh, I'm going to tell the doctor. All, all right, like, bro, I'm working. Like, it ain't like I'm just, I'm high and say, yeah, I'm busy. I'm dead. I'm dead serious working, bro. It's like a lot of work. So that's what that's what all went down last night, dog. Then it's like, I tell you no lie. I really felt like you know what, bro. I had to tell myself this is the only time I really thought that you know what I just quit a job like on on the clock. But you can't do that because that's like what they call that job, man. Job abandonment and like you you taking care of patients, you gonna like, lose your license for that, like for real, for real. So I wouldn't do it. But I like never come back or something. But luckily, I'm just I'm setting up my schedule where I'm only got to do like one day every two weeks. So cool, it don't really matter, man. I, I can do one day every two weeks. You feel me? So I gotta give at least two to three days. So I'm gonna do that, man. I'm in the ER. It wasn't easy, bro. Like I ain't gonna lie to you, man. And I just did I just did this two days back to back. <clears throat> Last night wasn't, the other night wasn't so bad, but last night it was like a, it was a real deal. Like it was busy. I just told you everything I just did, man. I'm like, and you doing all that times three, bro. On top of that, you're doing transports, man. But you know, like, <clears throat> one thing I was saying though, it could be worse. I could be unemployed. So I know I still talk a little crazy in the while I was busy, this and that, but at, at the end of the day, I'm employed. I'm making a decent living. I'm able to provide for my family, bro. So, but going into the new year, I'm really like, <clears throat> I'm really like on, um, I was paying uh, all this extra money towards this other stuff, towards this like principles and debts. Now I'm gonna really be like, I'm gonna pay like a little bit over, like probably like a hundred dollars over on each thing. Rest of that money, I'm just stacking that, bro. I'm finna try to reach a quarter million. I ain't, I'm finna go. I'm finna reach a quarter million. Then I reevaluate everything after that, bro. I'm finna get this, stack this fatty to the ceiling, bro. I'm really like, do stuff I need to do around my crib, like my vacations for, for my little, I'm, I'm trying to do something for my son around his birthday, a family vacation, you know, to, to the island or something. Really like, really do our thing, man. Like, so I don't mind, like, six months I'll be on that debt, and six months I'll be on just stacking. Six months debt, six months stacking. That'd be my little situation, you feel me? Six on six out of the whole 12 piece, I'm doing six on six. And it's cold as hell. I ain't even have my car turned on because I ain't want y'all to hear the noise that come from the background, so. Then this thing just said, service due on my car. I just had this car service. Then that's gonna be shit, 2300. <sighs> All you talk about is money. All they want is money. All they want is money. I got you, dog. You talk about money, money. Okay, okay. Go ahead and can't pay your mortgage. See why, see why, see why, see why. <laughs> Go ahead and can't pay your mortgage. See who else gonna be able to talk about money. 
See who else is going to be talking about money. Go ahead and can't pay your mortgage. Go ahead and can't pay your property taxes. See who else is going to be talking about only money. All right. I'm waiting, man. Damn, I'm waiting. And I'm still waiting. Everybody hating. Hating on me. I'm just trying to get this paper. I'm back in these streets. Man, look at what I'm doing. Look at what I'm done. Look at what I'm doing. Look at what I've done. Go home and just kiss my son. Ah, daddy, love you. Love you, daddy. <laughs>